Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kirby Land, doing Kirby things for the Kirby people. Uh, we are back in World 5, trying to get our way through the ice level, the obligatory ice level of doom and destruction. We're about to the end of the frickin' thing, so I think we're about to run into the boss. This is gonna kick off this episode with a bang, at least. <laughs> Ninjas... Kirby's gone all ninja powered on us, so now we just gotta pick up another uh, very easily grabbable uh, treasure and then get the fuck out of here. Well, nope. Unfortunately, we got defeated very easily. Looks like we're just gonna have to. Wow. <laughs> there was a shuriken stuck in that guy's eye, so that was, uh. uh that was kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, you just stay over there with all where your food is, okay? You can become the new pantry. Oh, the Squeak Squad. Why do you exist? It's just so silly. I mean, it's sillier that the defeating of the Squeak Squad was an actual requirement that we had to do to get to the end of the level. Because, <laughs> obviously, they're completely useless villains. Why would they... Okay, now we're just... And now we're just roughing up the entire squad, huh? But hey, multiple white treasures, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And of course, because this guy is only a melee attacker, he's not gonna be able to actually do anything against our ninja stars of death. So, we're perfectly fine. <laughs> we're literally killing him off screen, that's how terrible he is at his job. I'm just kind of surprised that they never bothered to upgrade them, change them into something different, do anything of worthwhile value. These guys are the same guys that we've been fighting since World 1, and it's World 5. It's the end of World 5. What are they going to do in World 6 to 8? I mean, they got to upgrade themselves at some point. They can't just stand there and be like, well, the old tactics work just fine. It's like, they never have. They literally never have. Your old tactics make you look like this. And for a good fucking reason. It's because they suck. This guy flies a UFO and somehow is moving at what, like, uh... Two miles an hour with it? He's literally got alien technology and he's completely failing to do anything of value. Uh, just like me and missing that shot. Brilliant. We will celebrate our failure to hitting the cannon with the Kirby Dance. Oh, uh, great. We memorized the Cupid. The Cupid ability. That's definitely going to help in the long run. <laughs> Could we have something that's less useless, like Wheelie, or something along those lines? Oh, the actual leader of the Squeak Squad is actually pulling out some freaking tech. Something that's actually useful. I mean, look, he's getting some damage done. And I barely hit him. And also that. I think we could call it this runoff. Um, it seems like Mr. Hatman is actually good at his job. So we're completely fucked. It turns out that once you start introducing a competent player from the squad, we're completely disincorporated. Holy shit. I don't know, maybe we can pull out an end-of-run uh, victory or something. I think the problem is that we're trying to use ninja stars to catch a guy who is teleporting. Yeah. I mean, if he goes pulling out those star rebounds, we're not going to be able to do much of anything. Oh, uh, yeah. We are doomed. We have one hit left. So I think it's safe that we can, uh, write this off. Wait, I'm alive? How did that happen? We got him down to, like, 60%. Which, again, is garbage. I don't know, maybe we can unlock a hidden ninja technique, Naruto-style, to win the day here. Because I don't think- I don't think the shurikens are gonna really be the answer we need. I'm telling you, I'm biting my fingers on this. I don't even remember if this is the run. I believe... I mean, in comparison to my usual, I would not believe it is. It might be if this guy only does bombs going right into... ice powers. 
Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. It was either gonna be one of his projectiles or it was gonna be his teleporting. Okay, well, let's get him this time because clearly our incompetence was the villain of that one. And with Sword, we probably have a better chance. Let's scratch that. Because, uh, we just took two incredibly stupid hits. Almost a third. I think we're dealing some actual damage, at least, but the problem is we have to get into melee range with a guy who is teleporting. Which is not a great recipe for success here? I think we're about equal, though, which is, which is pretty good. Oh, great. Uh mid-battle frickin' swap chain. That's... that's not good. I mean, Bomb is not the worst ability in the world, but, uh... Ugh, it's gonna be hard to figure this out. Yeah, I think we can write this one off as well. We probably could have gotten it with Sword, but unfortunately this happened. Nope. Got... Got with the goddamn star bullshit. Okay, third time's a charm. Let's get this done. I mean, if it doesn't work, at least we have Tornado to fall back on. Ugh, goddammit, we have to freaking focus on getting our powers back. Unfortunately, it's gonna be kinda hard to do when he's got this ability. Oh, now he's pulling out his star ricochets already. Fuck. Yeah, no, let's, uh... This this kind of looks like the winning run. I don't know if I completely fuck this up or not. I don't know, maybe if I can instantly get the timing down, maybe I can actually have a shot at this. Never mind, let's, uh... Let's start the charity fund for Kirby's death. Oh god, he went into two star ricochets, two completely different patterns. God, that was a cheap move. Yeah, we're done here. There's no way. Okay, this is the time. This is, should be the one. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be fire, it's gonna be tornado, because that's the only thing we got to work with. To be honest, Tornado might actually been more useful in this fight, now that I'm looking at it. Because I think Tornado at least gives you full control of your movement. And if we're able to fly around the screen and actually keep pace with this guy and his stupid hat wand, then it'd probably be the easiest thing on the God's Green Earth. God, the creator of Kirby. Oh, now he's actually pulling out some new tech for being defeated so quickly. Triple teleport and near-range star projectiles. I mean, there's no way he's gonna be able to actually outdo us this time. <laughs> and even the star of the Squeak Squad wasn't, uh, the biggest match for Kirby? I really can't. I can't not give him credit for that, because he beat us four times. Okay, so what's gonna be the end twist here? <laughs> it's gonna be Meta Knight, the actual competent antagonist. But why is Meta Knight dicking around with fucking... Kirby's cake? So, Meta Knight ran through a ancient locked door that needed these star seals, and we just immediately broke it open anyway. It's a very odd thing for the game to do. The secret C, huh? So yeah, they waited a hell of a long time. World 7 for the water level, which is always what disincorporates Kirby. Uh, I mean, 7 1 at least looks like it's actually uh, being a bit slow. I'm surprised by. Usually Kirby doesn't hold back, they, they have very stringent difficulty curves. I mean, with this game, I think World uh, 4 or 5, the one, the one prior to the boss is always the joke 
of the game. But still. If you don't have the proper power-up, guess what? You're going down. And that's your only option, Busta. And we just lost our sword powers because you can't get your copy abilities back if you lose them underwater. Which is probably the ultimate problem with this whole mechanic. That hasn't changed in 15 years. Oh, great. I don't think Tornado is going to solve this problem. Especially if Kirby, you don't actually use the tornado power up to do anything? Yeah, never mind. Ooh, a current puzzle. That's, uh. That looks like fun. Looks like we'll have to do the whole circle, Kirby. Yeah. One chance to get it right, too. That's great. That's fantastic. God, World 7 has already not taken any punt and any prisoners. <laughs> they don't need to take any prisoners. They just drown all of them. <laughs> Why bother with murder when our entire country is made of water? Oh yeah, all these extra puzzles are just being solved for these, uh, pointless... Uh, these pointless collectible treasures. That I have found no use for, even though we're nearing the end of the whole game. Wait, these guys are still here? Seriously? Look, I'm already outrunning him. Oh, that's some bullshit. You have to fucking run the whole gambit around and he gets the shortcut. This is what I was talking about during last episode, the only way that the Squeak Squad is actually able to outdo Kirby is if they start cheating. And that is some royal bull. The fact that Kirby is getting dicked over for legitimate victories by the game just cheating for them. Especially for this guy, the goddamn melee-only Squeak Squatter. Which is pointless. Just, just completely pointless. To be a melee fighter against Kirby. Who deals in projectiles like 80% of the time. I mean, come on. That's just silly. Although, I guess that's the name of the game. Kirby is just being silly. But it's not supposed to be silly for the antagonist. Whatever. And like, wait, the water level sent us into the sky, and we're not in the sky. What? The map lied to me. How can a map lie to anybody? It's a fucking map. Okay, so we're trading in our water currents for air currents. <laughs> it's the same puzzle, but this time without the water. Which I mean in this case is, uh... Anytime you can move the water from a Kirby game is always a good time. Because it's his ultimate weakness. And it looks like we're gonna have to do- Okay, how did I not get hurt there? <laughs> Was that the game making up for the last time it cheated me out of something by cheating in my favor? Because I definitely should have gotten killed there. But hey, as Metal Kirby, we'll be able to solve the air current puzzle, I guess. <laughs> Kirby, I don't think you're gonna make it, but I could be wrong. I mean, you're invincible, so I guess you can make it through anything, but still. How are you gonna get it up, smart guy? You gotta be on that mashing. Come on, Kirby, you almost got this. Well, now get rid of Metal Power Up and actually use something that could keep you alive. Yeah, let's grab Wheelie. This looks like it's one of those rare moments where Wheelie's actually gonna be worthwhile. Like I will continue to say, Wheelie is only useful in these very hyper-specific situations, which is 
why it's a terrible power-up. And thankfully, we ended up losing it immediately. Which is, again, appropriate. Where, fighting... Oh, yeah, the Bubble Lord. I forgot about him. Because he was added specifically for this game because they do the bubble power-up thing. Is this guy gonna do anything? Or is he just gonna fly around like a weirdo? Oh, good, he's learned Tackle. Maybe in five levels he'll learn Growl. I mean, we're gonna beat him no matter what. This guy is just wasting his time and our time. Aw, uh, Kirby, pick up the freaking bubble power-up. It's a good... Uh, Kirby! Why'd you do that? That was a good power-up, and you kind of need a good one. Fire is pretty mediocre, to be honest. I don't think it's much of people's favorite. Well, Kirby, just pick up sword! And seriously, you have a Max and Tomato, use it. Oh, meat, perfect. It's probably one of those dumb, like, economy things where Kirby's all like, Oh, but I need to keep the Max and Tomato for the actual boss battle, otherwise I'll die horribly. And it's like, Kirby, you might as well use it now. At least you'll be able to keep the health on you. Instead of as an item. Uh, again, the game cheated. But hey, at least this time I actually fucking one-upped him with his cheating bullshit. God, you guys are the cheapest jerks I've ever met. Needing the game to fucking give you all the points instead of earning them yourself. What a bunch of toolboxes. Did I get the ghost medal last time? I swear I got that at the end of episode 3. <laughs> what am I gonna do with another one? Become even more dead. Kirby, don't ride on a lightning cloud, that's gonna kill you. Oh. Boo, I could've probably used that guy. But hey, we got Beam. At least Beam is my, like, second favorite. Kirby, you... Kirby! Why'd you waste a life like that, my dude? God damn. Kirby, you should've known this. You're in the sky. Of course there's no bottom to the sky. It's in the sky. I kinda love how the fire guy did do nothing. Up until the point I ate him deliberately. Where are we going, Kirby? Are you seriously doing collectible hunting now? Don't you have better things to do? Not exactly worthwhile. <laughs> You'll get a Cupid doll and a pat on the back for doing good at the, uh, um, whack the cloud game, I guess. but I'm convinced that they're hiding something. I just need to find it. Yeah, he certainly took down that beam guy, Kirby. That was definitely worth it. Kirby, why don't you just use it for that? I mean, it's right there. Oh, God. Kirby, you don't need every secret, okay? Come on. What do you even think is going to be hidden behind the background? The secret to life. That was it. Just one oddly big room. For the goddamn treasure box. No. Oh. Great. I mean, at least sleep does something, I guess, but Jesus, no. It's still a joke. It's still a joke power-up. Whose only use is to say to you, hey, if you done got this power-up, you done fucked up. 
Go become a better Kirby player. By not getting the sleep power up. And also buy this microtransaction. Oh hey, Animal! That's actually something good they added to this series. Oh, whole one up, nice. That'll make up for the one that we lost for being really stupid. And now we can use this power to go crazy and punch everyone in the face. Kirby, you can beat this guy. Come on, you got this. He's a scrub. Look, he's destroying the fuck out of you. Even though he doesn't have to deal with any enemies. Well, with the sacrifice of our animal power-up, we have earned one big treasure. Definitely a fair trade-off. Oh, we got the bomb scroll. That's, uh, that's good. Thumbs up. Oh, this one's just your classic pure water level. Although, I think this is gonna be the last normal level to this game because the fives are usually the ones that are completely useless. Filler levels. I mean, last time it was a mini boss fight against the Squeak Squad members, so yeah, I mean, of course that was a big joke. Oh, uh, please don't tell me this is a fucking underwater labyrinth. Oh, uh, it's gonna suck. So much. Kirby, I appreciate the enthusiasm, but I don't think you can cut through sheer, sheer rock like that. Well, there's only one direction to go. Come on, Kirby, you're gonna have to get there quick. Yeah, got it. But at the what cost? We lost our sword. Again. Yeah, power-ups don't tend to last too long once you're uh, down this this deep in the water. And that was just a dick move. Hey, they actually kept the door open for us for once. Thank you, universe. Oh, and here's a classic gambit. It's, hey, get all the power-ups, and if you don't, then you have terrible reflexes. Kirby, get rid of the big star. Okay. That was a very bizarre decision, Kirby. Finally, we can get out of the water. Kirby's like, no, I don't need more, you- I don't need new, new lives. I'm perfectly fine with the one I've got. I do appreciate the addition, which apparently the spark power-up allows you to, uh, send currents along the bottom. Which just deals additional damage. You don't have to do anything to get that, you just get it. That's real nice. What's with the creepy music in this ship? It's not even scary, it's just got the standard sweet enemies in it. It's not exactly the GFS Valhalla. I'm pretty sure Kirby has ghost enemies in it. Why are there no... Where's the ghost enemies? Okay, so the puzzle is that we have to pick a pick a door to get out of and it's gonna be completely different each time. Oh, never mind. Is that really a puzzle when you can solve it in 10 seconds? That's just kind of some bullshit. You know? It's almost like you should have calibrated your uh, puzzle design. 
Oh, good. We even get the secret level in this episode. I mean, they usually got, they usually got something up their sleeves. I just don't know what the heck they're going to pull out of their bums for this one. A lacking chance to get a one-up. A bomb puzzle to get a one-up that we can't get because we have the wrong power-up. How about another one-up? Oh, bonkers. Huh. Kirby, you've got tons of health. Just get this done. I mean, this guy has been having the same attack pattern since, like, Kirby's Dreamland 3. On the SNES. <laughs> Not exactly anything to write home about, but hey, we get the hammer power up out of it. We missed the two one we might as well get something like this. And classic, we missed the treasure by going in the wrong door. And obviously you need to get punished for, you know, not immediately realizing. Okay. Huh. Okay, so that means the Squeak Squad is even more terrible as job than I first realized. Because all you need to do is be... <laughs> all you need to do is just use your copy ability to take it. They, they can't do anything about that. <laughs> what a weird weakness. Anyway, this should be the joke level at least. I mean, of course it's a joke. It starts off with a wheelie, uh, section. Nah, Kirby already missed. Whoa, that was it. <laughs> that wasn't even a level, that was a race. How fast was that level? Like, 40 seconds? And I completely failed it the whole way? Why even include it? What did that add to anything? <laughs> Kirby forgets how to slow down as a wheel. Hell, beam and sword? This is my kind of level. And we got two Max and Tomatoes. Oh, we're gonna be perfectly fine. This is gonna be the easiest fight yet. And ironically, it's gonna be against Meta Knight. <laughs> In a space elevator? Whoa. Seems like Meta Knight's actually got some new skills. The skill that we still haven't got? <laughs> Regular ass dodging. Kirby, you might want to pull one of those tomatoes. Perfect time. Okay, never mind. It would be perfect timing if you didn't just get yourself hurt all the damn time. Whoa. He's got a lightning sword, too. He's taking advantage of the new ability. No. Meta Knight can't have intelligence. He's gonna destroy us that way. Okay, now we're in orbit. Now we're gonna go to Mars and become Martian Kings. Oh, wait, there is no Mars. Except for Kirby 64 Dreamland, which obviously takes place above Earth. God, they even keep the classic animation. And now that we have retrieved our cake, we are going to be able to have a wonderful day in Dreamland. And with that, we are going to be uh, saving the rest for the ultimate episode. And now Kirby finally has his treasure box. Oh, boo. Well, I guess we'll have to see that denouement next time. So, thanks for joining me here again, and, uh... Oh. Apparently, Kirby's cake was kept in Pandora's box. So, yeah. Uh, join us next time for when that happens. And, uh... I'll thank you for joining us, and, uh... You know, show up next time for the ending. <laughs>